What is this black box? series. Today we're going to talk about something which we came across through looking at one of the other uh, traveling channels and that is a channel called Adventures of Rosie. Now Bronson was talking recently about a power uh, station thing that he was using and I felt that was rather interesting because I was going to put in solar panels a multi-charger, all sorts of things, a car battery and all that to run the caravan. And in watching his videos, I discovered that you can actually use something very simple and, and very effective, and it's called a power station. Now, this one here is called the Power Oak, and it's different to the one he was talking about. And the reason why I got this one is well, for two reasons. One with the shipping the way it is in New Zealand there's a lot of empty shelves uh, for products another thing too was um, I wanted to look around and I couldn't get his one so I got this one um, which is a 400 watt hour power oak now it's the model EB50 and I'll just give you a rundown of some of the things it's got here well Natriot says its battery capacity is 400 uh, what, what ours? Uh, battery type is a lithium ion battery. It's charge time now for charging it for the unit. You can charge it on AC with the adapter that comes with it. That takes initially for your first one between anywhere between six and eight hours. Obviously, after that, once you've used it, it drops dramatically. DC car charge, if you want to do it that way, it can take any time between 10 and 20 hours. And solar charge, if you're using your solar, um, any time between 4 and 6 hours. Now, its output in AC, it's rated at 300 watts. The rated output voltage is 240, which is what we use here in New Zealand. Uh, rated frequency, well that's standard between 50 and 60 hertz. Now the DC output uh, through the USB ports, it has two of them. It has a 2.2 2 at 2.1 amp hour and two at 1, one amp hour. Uh, now 12 volt cigarette lighter socket is rated at 150 watts. And DC ports, it has two of them. Obviously, at the uh, 12 volt ports there, 12 volt at 3 amps. So there's two of those. Now, another thing I like about this unit is the fact that if I was to put in a car battery, the multi charger unit, the regulator, all the bits and pieces and inverters and so on like that, my weight is going to be quite substantial. With this one, including all those features, basically is 5.6 kg, which is a hang of a lot lighter. So, right, now some of the features here. Okay, the product features, three, it has three-way output. You have your AC at 240 volt, which I mentioned, your DC at 12 volt, and your USB at 5. Uh, now, it also has a three-way input, charge from solar panel, charge from AC power, and charge from your car charger. Now, another beauty thing about this is when you're charging from any source, you can also use your output at the same time. doesn't matter. Okay, um, the battery is a high-energy densi density lithium-ion battery. So it's safer than the normal lithium-ion batteries. Um, strong energy storage ability. 
one and a half times of other lithium batteries. So that's quite a bit. Um, it has a built-in solar MPPT function and it automatically will turn off when fully charged. So good protection there. Now what comes with it? With the unit you get a jump starter kit also for your car. If your battery runs flat you can charge it from the unit. It has solar charging cables. It comes with the car charging cables as well and also your AC charger. Now the things, give an example of things it can do. It can charge your cameras. It can operate your, your cameras. Uh, it can operate your fans, your car refrigerator. We, we actually are running two 12 volt fridges off this unit. We tried it and it worked fine. So um, these are two drawer fridges. Um, what else? Um, oh, obviously all the LED lights that we have here in the caravan, it runs all that perfectly fine. Uh, you can run your mob, run and charge your mobile phones, operate your TV, your laptop, uh, and also, because now people use drones so you can charge those and, and all that off this. So it's a handy device to take. So, that's it there. Um, Right, now I'll pick up the unit. Now, this is only 5.6 kg. Very, very attractive looking little unit. And obviously it takes up a lot less space. Here you've got all your 12 volt uh, DC area. And it has the cigarette fitting in there. Your USB and so on in here. Now you just hold down the button to turn it on and up comes the screen which shows you the status of the battery. Now we've had this in sitting in the caravan and it's quite cold, still fully charged um, and that's after about nearly a month as it's sitting there. Um, now to use AC you press this until the AC green light comes on like that. Now you can use the AC uh, here where you've got the two outlets for your AC power. Now, uh, also DC, you just press the DC until the green light there comes on. And now you can use all your DC um, components. And after a while, of course, everything just goes off. It's, it, to save its energy, it will turn off the screen and various things like that. Um, there it goes. So now, um, to turn off the unit, press and hold down the top button, and there you go. It also will show you how much energy you're using on there. It's quite a good little readout. Now, just turning around to this side, here we have where your um, that solar cables and that will plug into. Next to that, you've got your input for your charging, whether it be from the cigarette lighter or your mains and your power adapter and this little part in here if i can just open that that's this is where your um car charger cables will go into and of course they're all supplied so that's that and as i say and a, quite an attractive little cabinet and very well made very sturdy and very strong looking um so now you get all your boxes of all your fittings so this has got your car chargers and your bits and pieces, your cigarette lighter and all that comes with it, all in, in the box. So we've used this unit uh, and we've found it to be very successful for what we want. Um, so there's nothing much more to, to say on this other than just to say thank you to uh, Bronson and his family on... Adventures of Rosie uh, for pointing out a power station as an option. So um, it's always good to have a look at the various YouTube channels that are around. And we do that quite a bit. Uh, Adventures of Rosie, Travelling K and the likes. We, um, we enjoy watching what they're up to. And obviously they're 
looking at us and seeing what we'll be up to as well. So there you go, just a short video on this product. We hope you enjoy it and um, next week we'll be looking at the camper van. Some very interesting developments with the camper van. That um, it's a bit concerning. So um, stay tuned for that. It's going to be very interesting next week. In the meantime, happy camping, happy adventures, and we'll see you here again next week. Cheery over now. Now one thing I didn't mention is that when you turn the power on, so the green light comes on, you can use your AC, that comes on, and your DC, and that comes on all at the same time. So you can use the whole unit. Another thing too is uh, you can do all this while it's still being charged as well. So it's quite a handy little device. Now I'll just turn these off so it's a matter of holding the button down on each. So it's got rid of DC and AC and now I can just turn the unit off because I'm not going to use it. So there it goes. Now, also another thing is remember this is totally portable. With the other option I was going to use, which I was going to stick everything down underneath this bed, which would include the car battery, the um, multi-charger, um, all the other bits and pieces that this has actually got on it would take up that whole area. And it's not portable. Whereas this now, for a lot less weight, is completely portable and does the whole job. So I think this is a great step forward in camping especially if you go off the grid and you want to go portable this is definitely worth it so there you go it's the power oak eb50